Okay, so we're gonna restart this video. Um, I guess the third time wasn't the charm, but maybe the fourth will. So here we go, we're gonna start this video and we're gonna work on the word problems um, at the end. And I know that these are a little bit tricky, so we're gonna see if we can kind of figure them out together. Um, the first one, it says, after working for six hours, Marcy had $96 in her bank account. And then after working for 13 hours, she had 18 18.50. And so when I'm reading that, I'm like, okay, so there's a couple information, pieces of information that we could get. We can figure out how much she made per hour. So we need to figure out money per hour. And it's probably helpful to know how much she started with or the starting money. Um, and the reason why you know that she started with some money is because if you have a bank account, you can't start a bank account with zero dollars. You can't go to the bank and go, I have no money, I'd like to start a bank account. They'd be like, well, get some money and then we can put it in the bank. So we gotta figure out how much she started with and then how much she makes per hour. And that's gonna be part of her line equation. The per hour part, you know, is gonna be your slope because it's happening at multiple times. The starting point, that's gonna be your y-intercept. So we basically just have to find the slope and the y-intercept. To do this, we're gonna use this information to help us out. So the first thing I wanna figure out is how much money did she make after working for seven hours? Cause we can see that she worked from 16 to 13, so in seven hours. Well, I can do that by taking 18, 1350 and minusing it by 96. That's gonna tell me how much money she made in the six hour, or the seven hours. So she made $8.75 in seven hours. So if I divide that by seven, I can now know that she made $12.50 per hour. So that's how much she's making per hour is $12.50. Well, if she made $12.50 per hour, let's see how much she should have made after six hours. Huh. So if she made $12.50 per hour, what I did was I took $12.50 and times it by six, and she should have made $75, but she had $96. So that must mean that she had $21 in her bank account to start with, meaning our line equation would be y equals 1250x plus 21. Well, what's the slope in this problem? Well, it's the 1250 and it's how much she makes per hour. And then how much did she start with? Oh, she started babysitting with $21 in her bank account. How much money will be in her account after 22 hours? Assuming she doesn't spend any money. Well, that's not too bad to do. We just have to do 22 times 12.50. And she would make $275 from babysitting plus the additional 21 that she started with. So if she doesn't spend any money, she would have 296. How many hours will she need to work to make $500? Well, that's a really good question. So I would do it this way. I would go, okay, we know we have $500. Um, we can estimate how many hours that would be take by dividing it by how much, but we have that little bit of extra. So we're gonna subtract $21 because that's how much she had initially. And so really she just has to work to make $479. Well, if we divide that by how many much money she makes per hour, we can find that she'll need to work around 39 hours to make that amount of money. And you can see if, if that works out, because you can do 39 times 1250. <clears throat> so that would be the close to $500. And then if you add 21, she's well over $500. Okay, and we could know that if she worked one less hour, that'd be 1250 less, so it wouldn't work out. Okay, that's how we would kind of do that problem. Um, let's see the next one. For this one, they give you this graph here, and they want you to use it, um, and I actually want to use it because I think it's going to be easier. Uh, but we don't exactly have to use this graph for this one. But we're going to read through it and see what happens. So it says, a school is putting together a talent show. They estimate that they have two, whoops, they have 200 students. 
and 150 adults that plan to go, and the school's goal is to raise $1,200. Write a linear equation to represent the cost, x, of one student ticket and y, the cost of one adult ticket. So we want to write a linear equation where we would ha make $1,200 $1, and it would be $200 for the students and $150, or er, not $150, but 150 adults would go. So here's how I'd like to think about it. I'd like to think about how you get the 1200 well if we took the number of adults and added it to the number of students that should give us the amount of money um, so this would be I would say this is the cost in dollars of the adults and cost of that um, but that would be if we sold one ticket to the adults so we are, we're gonna sell more than one ticket we're gonna sell 200 for the students and then we're going to sell 150 for the adults. So when you look at this problem, you would really say that 200x plus 150y should equal 1200. And that would be a line equation that's in standard form. Now you might go, oh man, we're going to have to like change these different things to be able to graph it because we don't have a slope and a y-intercept. Well, that's not exactly true because we can find two points by using our cover up method. So by graphing this, we can graph this by covering up this 150 and then finding what x is. So that would be 1200 divided by whoops, not times, whoops. 1200 divided by 200, which would give us 6. So this would cross at 1 2 3 4 5 6. And you could think about that that would make sense because let's say you sold zero adult tickets and only sold student tickets. How many student? How much would you have to price every student ticket to get twelve hundred? Well, two hundred times six would give you twelve hundred. Um, and now we would do that with our adults. So now we cover up our students and we just care about the adults. So twelve hundred divided by one hundred and fifty and we get 8. So I'd count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and there is our line that we graphed. Now they go, if the, the school charges $5 for adults, how much should they charge for students? Well, the nice part is we have a line, so we can just go up to adults, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go over to see what we should charge the students. Well, the students are down here, whoops, are down here, so that would be 2. So they should charge the students $2. That was a little bit of a harder word problem. Um, you guys probably won't have one that is that tricky for the test, but it is a good one to think about. Let's do one more. It says a group of mountain climbers begin their expeditions with 265 pounds of food, they plan to eat a total of 15 pounds of food per day. Write a line equation. Well, they gave us two really important pieces of information. They gave us how much they started with. So we know because that's the starting point, we know that's the y-intercept. And then they said per day, so we know that's the slope. So we'd say y equals 265 plus 15x. Now there is one important thing to realize. If they plan to eat it, do they get those those 15 pounds of food? No. They add it to their stomachs, but they're going to lose it from this amount, so that's losing 15 pounds for food per day. or putting a negative in front of there. So I'm going to write that one just a little bit better, but that should be a negative 15x plus 265. Well now, what we would do is they say how much food will the group have left after nine days? Well, x is the amount of days I would go, so we'd have to do 15 times 9 and make that negative plus 265 because that's how much we started with, and we'd have 130. On what day would the group run out of food? Well, that means we'd have no food, so we want this to become the same as 265 
or a better way of thinking about that is if we took 265 whoops and divided it by 15 it looks like it would take us around 17 days for that to work out probably on the 18th day we'd run out of food so we'd have a little bit left over after 17 days but not quite enough that's how you do all the word problems if you got stuck at any part of this video or anything didn't make sense still please send me an email and I'll try to help you through it if anything else doesn't make sense where you watch the other video and you were like man I really wish you would have still explained this I think I answered all the questions from what I got yesterday but if I didn't just please let me know thanks